Are you being troubled by the WhatsApp could not start? Please restart your iPhone if the problem continues error message. Well, no worries. In this video, I'll show you how you can fix it. It's most likely just a problem in your phone system. So here are the solutions you can follow to resolve it. First, simply restart your iPhone by using your accessibility menu or your power button and everything. So after restarting your iPhone, go back to WhatsApp and see if the problem is persisting. But if the problem is persisting, then try the advanced solutions. Solution number one, clear WhatsApp cache. For this, you have to go to your phone settings and then you have to tap on general. Tap on iPhone storage and then scroll down and find WhatsApp from here. Once found, tap on it and then tap on offload app and then confirm the offload by tapping on offload app. After you have tapped on it, you'll see an extra option called reinstall app from here. So simply reinstall the app from here and after reinstalling it, your problem should be fixed. But in case the problem is still persisting, then you can try solution 2, which will be enabling background app refresh. Enabling background app refresh requires you to go back to your settings. So go back to your iPhone settings and scroll down and then tap on general. Scroll down and tap on background app refresh. Now tap on background app refresh once again and make sure it's set for Wi-Fi and mobile data. If you had this set for Wi-Fi, simply set it to Wi-Fi and mobile data. And after that is done, go back, scroll down, and make sure that WhatsApp is enabled for background app refresh. If it's enabled, then all fine. Now go back and check if your issue has been fixed with this or not. If the issue is persisting, then you can try solution number three, which will be changing the date and time settings of your phone. For this, you have to go to your settings app, then you have to tap on general, scroll down and tap on date and time. So you have to make sure that set automatically has been toggled on. If you already see this being toggled on, simply toggle it off and then back on again for the setting to refresh. After it has been refreshed, check if that fixed your issue or not. Solution 4. Update the WhatsApp app. A backdated WhatsApp app can cause problems like this. So if you simply update it, the problem should be fixed. Go to the App Store and search for WhatsApp. Now, if you are using WhatsApp Messenger, then go to WhatsApp Messenger. If you're using WhatsApp Business, then go to WhatsApp Business and simply update the app. If you have update option available, you'll see an update icon here. So simply update your WhatsApp. And after that, check if that problem was fixed with this. If not, then try one last solution, which will be resetting all your settings. For this, you have to go back to your settings and then tap on General. Simply scroll down to the bottom and then tap on Transfer or Reset iPhone and then tap on reset and select reset all settings confirm with your passcode and after entering your passcode select reset all settings and this will reset all your wi-fi password and all the other settings and after this your problem should be fixed as well so after resetting all your settings go ahead and check whatsapp and see the problem so guys i hope your issue is solved now and if you found this video useful be sure to give it a like and subscribe to this channel for more solutions like this thanks a lot for watching till the end